change and go to Brussels and they say no pasaran. The pushbacks have this point. It's a crime. You know, when, when a Turkish Democrat escapes Turkey and comes to Greece, Mitsotakis looks at her or him as a potential enemy and returns her or him to Erdogan. The Greek authorities strip search, um, abuse the political refugees coming from Turkey. Then they, they push them back to Turkey. Whether Who is responsible? Um, our governments. The European Union as a bureaucratic institution, the governments of the European Union, and the government of Turkey. All our governments, your government, my government, our governments, are participants, they are co-conspirators in a conspiracy against humanity. The instrumentalization of refugees happens everywhere. Erdogan instrumentalizes the refugees. Uh, he regulates uh, the rate at which they attempt to uh, cross the border or to cross the GNC. The European Union is instrumentalizing the refugees. Yeah, these are not accidents. These are orchestrated deaths. The European Union has been planning policies that will lead to deaths that will they hope, act as a deterrent from others coming over. I, as a Greek, as a European, as a citizen of the world, I feel deeply ashamed that society is um, investing in death in order to prevent the most logical, natural thing, which is human flow. Uh, the European Union and Erdogan back in the summer of 2015, uh, committed a crime against logic and against humanity together. Angela Merkel, our Prime Minister there, here in, back then, my former colleague Alex Tsipras, Prime Ministers of Italy, of Spain, of everyone. They went into bed with Mr. Erdogan and they agreed a despicable treaty, quasi-treaty, it wasn't even a formal agreement, um, which, if you think about it, what it amounted to was the Europeans, rich Euro Europe, bribing Erdogan, giving Erdogan billions of euros every month, every year, so that Erdogan would allow the Europeans to violate international law on refugees. This is, this, you know, this is, they are completely complicit. Yeah. European leaders and Erdogan. Um, and I think it is essential for us here in Greece, for you in Turkey, for our friends in Germany, to bind together and to reclaim the notion of human rights. Mm. That it's not okay to kill people, to push them back, you know, it's not okay to push vulnerable people back into stormy seas during the night, okay, hoping that they either would die or they would live and take out their, their little cheap cell phones and call people back in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Nigeria, in Ghana, whatever, and say, don't come, you'll die. And this is the whole point of doing this. The pushbacks have this point. It's a crime. We, you see, the thing is, authoritarians have a tendency to coalesce. Mr. Mitsotakis is an authoritarian prime minister. He operates in a country whose political system is more liberal than Turkey's. But he's not liberal. He claims to be liberal. If you look at what he does, he introduces... He's actually copying Erdogan. Because I've been following Erdogan you know, decades now. And it is interesting how Erdogan uh, began his uh, tenure with some reforms, with... Um, you know, safeguarding democracy from the military, um, being more inclusive in terms of income redistribution. But slowly, slowly, he started amassing powers, introducing authoritarianism in action, uh, giving himself powers that he shouldn't have, um, concentrating power in his hands. And 
in destroying what is left of freedom of the press, freedom in universities, good friends working in Turkish universities who are suffocating. Uh, Turkey was dropping in the international league tables for freedom of the press, for human rights and so on. This is exactly what's happening in Greece over the last few years. Exactly. You know, in, we are now in the 108th position in terms of press freedom, according to the Reporters Without Borders. Uh, journalists are being followed and are being persecuted. The Erdogan playbook is being copied by Mitsotakis. Mitsotakis it, it wants to be Erdogan in Greece. So it's not that, that terribly surprising that de facto they are cooperating. So, you know, when, when a Turkish Democrat escapes Turkey and comes to Greece, Mitsotakis looks at her or him as a potential enemy and returns her or him to Erdogan. Uh, we must have no illusions about this. Uh, this is precisely what's happening. As a parliamentarian, I can only speak to events and facts that I can prove. So this is not something I can prove. Would I be surprised if that were the case? No, I wouldn't. But it's not something I can allege. I think that these allegations must be investigated thoroughly. But in the end, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter whether they are coordinated or not, the Greek and the Turkish authorities. Um, it would be very well work. The whole thing, the whole travesty can work very well without coordination. The Greek authorities strip search, um, abuse, the political refugees coming from Turkey, then they, they push them back to Turkey. Whether, you know, they picked up the phone before that <laughs> to tell the Turkish authorities or not, who cares? The Turkish authorities will be there picking them up and subjecting them to untold hardship, even torture. Our countries and our peoples must build bridges of peace, friendship, and solidarity with anyone who's being persecuted. Allow me to finish off with an ironic historical twist. Back in 1967, when uh, a military coup, a bit like your Evren coup in Turkey took place, and all the political leaders of the time uh, were arrested by the army. This is what armies do when they do a coup d'etat, right? <laughs> um, they are apparently, um, arrested Mitsotakis' father. I don't know whether you know that. Uh, did you know how he escaped? How he managed to get out? He escaped through Turkey. So, uh, you know, um, Democrats have a duty whenever there is a dictatorial turn in any neighboring country to give shelter and uh, asylum to fellow Democrats escaping the, the dictators the authoritarians. We have, we Greeks have a duty to uh, give shelter to Turkish Democrats fleeing Erdogan or fleeing any regime for that matter, you know, Putin, whoever. Um, and we're not doing it. It's known as a pushback. It's more than controversial, it's illegal. Greece has made no comment, but in the past has argued that it's so over.